So what I'm saying is, the Fiji police force is not the military. Because you have your own culture. There's a certain way you do your work. It's been a long time coming that police commissioners have been, you know, members of the service that I formerly belonged to. So when I say I just want it to be blue, I want the culture to be blue, led by someone in blue. And this is important as we go forward, as we try and shred ourselves of some legacy issues that have perhaps hindered or maybe in a way contaminate the way that the service, the force has done work in the past. It's not entirely the force's fault because much of this really has been imposed upon the force by the political masters back then. But we want to do that right. We want to do that right. So we want a police force that is led by police officers from Fiji. And that is going to be the standard that we want to set. So when we say police force that is blue, it means a police force that is traditionally the police force of Fiji as it goes, you know, a long way back and understanding its culture. And also, second to that, I have asked the police commissioner to reinvigorate the, the motor of the Fiji police force, which is Salus Populi, the technical work, professional work, as the police, and that is to be of service to the public, and to be of service to the people, and under that pretext that your allegiance must be to the law and to the law alone. Which means you must empower yourselves with a level of integrity and independentness that will allow you to conduct your service as a policeman and a policewoman faithfully. But I know that there are certain traditions that you have to hold. And sometimes this work is not easy. The work of arresting people is not easy because you have to manage violence. But there is a certain degree of violence that is allowable under the law. When you try to, to exceed that, obviously you, be, you come under public scrutiny and criticism. And unfortunately at times the force has been unfairly has been unfairly uh, criticized at the way that it has conducted the disputes because it is not easy. But I must ask all of you, now that the senior officers are here, and particularly members of the PSRU, uh, you know, a particular force of the police force that is unique in the way that it carries out its duty, to always exercise restraint and constraint in the way that you perform your role. I know it's hard, <coughs> but you must. Because to overstep that mark not only damages the reputation of the host, but puts your work at risk, and the work and the life and the livelihood of your families, and you do not want that.